Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fox Parasite here. Gonna give you some tips and a strategy on how I made it high on the leaderboards. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up to the just the raw gameplay of me and Shelby getting up high on the leaderboards, but I felt like, okay, well, let's make a strategy for some people. Uh, and, and just so you know, this is a team-based strategy. That's not a solo strategy. You can't... I don't know if you can do any of this stuff. I guess you can listen to some of the tips if you're gonna do this for solo. But other than that, this is just team-based. Uh, now, first off, we're going to start with just some basic tips. Um, when you notice that there isn't many guys around you and your combo meter is starting to get a little low, make sure you have flash grenades or just whip some frag grenades in whatever. I don't think you'll want to use the frag grenades, but make sure you have those flashes. Throw it in the air, and if it pops and you get, like, some people... It counts towards your combo meter, which not many people realize that. So make sure you have those flash grenades. And you could probably, once you throw those and hit some people, you can go over there and get closer towards the enemy and start getting some kills and picking up some tags. Always make sure you have flash grenades in general because they're pretty much lifesavers. For example, if you're getting like damaged pretty good or you're trapped where you are, where you are, just uh, throw a flash in the air or something and just run for your life, really. Flashes are also good for aiding in the kills of juggernauts, especially when there's like three or four of them in your view and they're getting closer. Uh, throw the flashes at them, either kill them or just run away. For some reason, the enemy is so attracted to the sentry guns and not so much about you. I have no idea, but when I've noticed that I have a sentry gun down near me, the enemy just tends to go for that over me 70% of the time, I'd say. Try to know where all the guns are so you can figure out exactly which one you want and the fastest way to grab it. Remember, two people can't have the same gun, so you need to communicate with your partner. Even if it means actually spending one full game familiarizing yourself with all the weapons in the map. Also, a lot of people don't realize this yet, but there's an L86 on top of the catwalk on the dome. Which, that gun's probably the best gun out of all the others in this map. Speaking of communication, you must talk with your partner most of the time. I mean, it's going to help pretty damn good. Especially, let's say, you only have one final stand and he has three. Let them know, hey, can I pick that one up? I only have one. Or, another example is, okay, there's... Both of you have combo freezes and the meter's at like a two. Make sure you let them know, hey, who's going to hit the button first because you don't want to waste both of those combo freezes. That would kind of suck. Now on to some strategies. Well, what I like to do sometimes is walk backwards while I shoot just so I'm not getting swarmed by a bunch of enemy soldiers. Uh, it pretty much helps that I know exactly where I'm going because of the map's not that hard to understand. But... Make sure you're not going too fast away from the enemy, because they might just decide to turn around and go after your friend. Another thing I like to do is stand behind this fence right here. I don't know for sure if it's a glitch or not, so I apologize, but if I stand behind there and the enemy is shooting at me, a lot of the time they tend to miss, and I'm not too sure what causes this, but they just, I don't know, they just don't seem to hit me all that much. When I am in the spot and I notice I'm running low on ammo, I throw a flash and pick up the G36. Then when I'm low on ammo with that gun, I could just move over and pick up the PP90. So it's like a back and forth thing with those two weapons. Sometimes I do pick up the AA-12 and just cycle through those three. Uh, plus, they're really close together and it doesn't put me in that much of a danger, especially when I'm throwing those flashes. Also, at this spot, I like to put a sentry gun on either the left side or the right side. It helps a lot for me because, like I said earlier, the enemy just seems to go after the sentry. Plus, if I'm behind that fenced part, I can defend the sentry easily from juggernauts or whoever. I've gone a full game without losing a sentry doing this tactic. My teammate Shelby usually just stays up top where the catwalk is and uses the L86. If he runs out of ammo, I assume he just picks up the closest weapon to him and runs right back up the ladder. When I usually see a juggernaut or a soldier go up on my side of the ladder, I try to tell him there's a guy coming up there for him, and if I'm able to kill him or not. If, even if I can just put a few rounds into the guy, it helps. 
he says it's easy to kill the juggernauts because they climb up the ladder and he can just aim for the head. So it doesn't really take too long to kill them. I do not know what happens if both players stay by the fence. If that were to make it easier or harder, I can imagine it being more annoying just because I like to pick up my weapons and he likes to pick up his. And I think that if he were to pick up my weapons, it would kind of, you know, put me at a disadvantage. Or if I were to pick up the those same weapons, he wouldn't know what guns to pick up. It would kind of make it more harder, I would think. I don't know. That's I, I just assume that. I've yet to try that. The thing that kills me the most in this mode isn't even being shot. It's the damn random claymores. I don't even understand why it kills me, because half the time I'm out of its blast radius and it'll explode and still manage to kill me. Also, the riot shielders can hit you once and you go down, and I, for some reason I die by those a lot. Oh, and when those choppers, those little AH-6 things, come into the game, what I like to do is wait till it's near me, and I'll just throw a flash up in the air and just shoot the hell out of the chopper. It doesn't really take that long to kill it. It's maybe like one clip of PP-90, maybe a clip and a half. Um, also, I can imagine it going down super fast if me and Shelby were to both shoot it at the same time. If you do manage to go down in the final stand and there is a juggernaut near you, attempt to kill him if you can, just because you don't have to worry about him later, so it's best to get him out of the way as quick as possible. Plus, you can pick up his red tag that gives you plus 200 shield. If your partner doesn't have another final stand and he is down, the best thing I can tell you is to throw some flashes right before you pick him up so it'd be easier. You can try luring the enemy away, but I've noticed sometimes the enemy likes to stay around the downed player, perhaps defending him, I don't really know. But that's my strategies and tips everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video, perhaps this will help you do better on this map. Uh, who knows, I may decide to make a solo version of this, but I haven't really played this map on solo before. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone, hope this helped.